A bit more than two months ago, Alio launched its testnet 3. This is going to be the last testnet before mainnet. However, it's still a testnet, so it will go a thorough audit before reaching production. And now let's get to a bit more what Alio is. Alio is the first decentralized platform for building zero-knowledge applications. It's a full stack of applications. However, the two main components are the Alio Layer 1 blockchain for zero-knowledge applications based on ZK SNARKs and Leo programming language that is best suited for zero-knowledge applications. There are many more components to it, and I have a full-on dedicated video about Alio that you can have a, a look at on my channel. I will leave the link in the description and somewhere in the cards. The main product is, of course, the Alio Layer 1 blockchain based on zero-knowledge cryptography. And uh, zero-knowledge is typically used in crypto for two main reasons. That's for scaling and for making something private. So how are the zero-knowledge proofs included in the blockchain architecture in Alio? Basically, users execute their applications off-chain and then publish short zero-knowledge proofs to the chain. Those short zero-knowledge proofs are called ZK-SNARKs. And uh, there are two types of zero-knowledge, ZK-STARKs and ZK-SNARKs, and Allo uses ZK-SNARKs. So they publish it on-chain, the, their little proofs that their application is running correctly, and it is also in a privacy-preserving manner because of those zero-knowledge proofs, right? So the chain then verifies those proofs and this is the process that happens independent of the running time of the application. Just like with everything, the theory sounds great, but we live in a harsh reality, and in a harsh reality, the computational power is quite expensive, and it is even more expensive for zero-knowledge-based applications because we don't have optimized hardware for that. You might be able, with your hardware, to run some simple applications, just like payments, for example, but for that you have Monero. And Alio aims to create a blockchain that would allow you to run something more computationally heavy and more advanced, like identity, verific uh, identity verification, uh, machine learning and gaming. So with Alio, you would be able to outsource the proving capacity to somebody else, the third proving party. So how does it work? The idea is that there are users who have a lot of computational power that they are willing to put into the generation of ZK SNARKs or zero knowledge proofs. So then the question is, how do you incentivize those users to actually do this job and put in their resources? For that, you have the consensus, and Alio consensus is a hybrid one. It is called Alio BFT, and it combines a proof-of-stake type consensus and proof-of-work type consensus together. The proof-of-stake part is responsible for instant block confirmation finality, so there you have the validators who are responsible for block production, and the proof-of-work part is responsible for incentivizing the development of better techniques and better hardware for generating zero-knowledge proofs. The provers solve coin-based puzzles, those are just proof-of-work type puzzles, and earn a percentage share for each from each block reward. So the better the provers are at solving this type of puzzles, the more rewards they can get, because this is all proportional. But it also means that you can participate even if you don't have the most advanced hardware, because you'll still earn some percentage. So the important part to understand about Alio BFT is that the block production, that is for proof-of-stake part, is decoupled, so they are separate, from the coin-based puzzle generation. This decoupling is a novel implementation and this is only introduced in testnet 3 and was previously absent in testnet 2, which only used proof of succinct work as consensus. However, the problem with that consensus was that there was a high degree of centralization because of some actors developing very good hardware and very good techniques for generating zero-knowledge proofs, so they got all the rewards for block production. With this new consensus, Alio aims to solve the issue and increase the degree of decentralization, and this would also, as a uh, byproduct, uh, would allow for a smoother developer experience because of the instant block finality, and this would also allow for better node stability. Now let's get to the setup of this testnet. It is incentivized, and in total, 25 million Alio credits are allocated to it. It is happening in three phases for developers, and then the second phase introduces provers, and the third phase introduces validators. And you can also, if you're none of that, you can also participate as a bug bounty finder, so you will find bugs and earn rewards for that. As I mentioned in the beginning, there are two main types of ZK proofs, ZK SNARKs and ZK STARKs, and Alio is based on ZK SNARKs. ZK SNARKs require a trusted setup, so testnet 3, using Alio and using ZK Snarks also requires a trusted setup. The first phase of the testnet started in August and continued until the 10th of November. 
This phase was just for developers and they were able to start writing and deploying their applications on Alio Testnet 3. So the network was not bootstrapped by Alio BFT consensus, but it was bootstrapped with Genesis beacons. The second phase of the testnet was launched on November the 10th, so right after the first phase, and in this phase the provers were introduced to the network. However, this is more of a soft launch, so the rewards and the incentives are going to be announced in the near future, and not right now. In this phase, provers start solving coin-based puzzles, that is a proof of succinct work part of consensus. For that, provers earn Alio credits, which are going to be useful for phase 3 of the testnet. In phase 3, the provers with 1 million Alio credits can become validators. This phase was supposed to start in October, however, is now postponed and is going to be announced as the phase 2 progresses. So guys from Nodes Guru have a very helpful website about node setup and stuff like that, and they have a page dedicated for Alio. Their minimum requirements for hardware are on there, but keep in mind that these are the minimum. The higher the computational power you have, the more rewards you can get. And then they also have a helpful guide, of course, very useful, but Alio, GitHub, and Docs can provide you with the most up-to-date information. So in this last phase, the provers who earned 1 million credits in phase 2 and decided to become validators can start producing blocks. And that means that the Alio BFT consensus will also come to its full force and will bootstrap the network. That's all I have for you for Alio Testnet 3. If you want to know more about Alio, I will leave the links to my videos in the description. And if you want to get the latest announcements about Testnet 3 and when the phase 2 becomes incentivized, I would recommend you to join Alio Discord. That's it. See you in the next one.